When one walks into the Natural World Investigate Lab and sees an arthropod molt or shed, they may think the animal has died. These, though, are actually the exuviae, or shed exoskeletons, of the arthropods. In order to grow, all arthropods must go through the molting process, which is known as ecdysis. The process of ecdysis is the shedding of the outer cuticle layer, the exoskeleton. The exoskeleton is the framework for the arthropod and also its protection and camouflage. Ecdysis is a multi-stage process that may take several hours to days to complete. To begin the process, the arthropod stops eating. It must clear its gut, which is also lined with chitin, the same substance as the exoskeleton. Next comes apolysis, separating the cuticle from the endodermis. Chitinase is released under the exoskeleton to dissolve the inner layer of chitin. A new layer of procuticle is laid down. As the dissolved chitin is reabsorbed, this then leaves a thin outer layer of exoskeleton. The now thin old cuticle splits along the top. The arthropod pushes its way out of the old cuticle. It then swells itself with air, or if aquatic, with water, to stretch the new exoskeleton. Over the course of hours, the exoskeleton hardens and tans, or darkens. In the final step of ecdysis, a waxy layer is secreted on the outside. This waxy layer helps protect the arthropod and prevent desiccation. The next time you're outside, look carefully. You might just find a molt that an arthropod left behind.